Hello students. Today we will discuss on two important points. First is the methods of structure elucidation of terpenoids and second is a very important compound citrate. General methods of structure elucidation. First of all we determine the molecular formula of the compound by means of mass spectrometry and molecular weight determination. If the terpenoid is optically active, its specific rotation can be measured. The second point is the nature of oxygen atom present. In, or if the oxygenated products of terpenoids are taken, then we find the functional nature of the oxygen atom which can be alcohol, aldehyde, ketone or carboxylic groups. Presence of hydroxyl group. If the oxygen atom is present in the form of hydroxyl groups, they can be determined by the reaction with acetic anhydrides forming acetates and with 3,5-dinitrobenzoyl chloride yielding the derivative. If the oxygen is present in the form of carbonyl group, then it is uh, reacted with the hydroxylamine yielding oxygen or phenylhydrazine giving phenylhydrazone or sodium bisulfide giving sodium bisulfide derivative. Third is if unsaturation is present in terpenoids, the presence of olefinic double bond is confirmed by means of the addition of bromine and the number of double bonds is determined by analysis of the bromide or by quantitative hydrogenation. Presence of double bond is also confirmed by means of catalytic hydrogenation or addition of halogen acids. Number of moles of hydrogen halide absorbed by one molecule is equal to the number of double bonds present in the terpenoid. Addition of nitrosyl chloride that is Tyndall's reagent and epoxide formation also gives the idea about the double bond present in the terpenoid molecule. Here is the nitrosyl chloride addition and here the per acid if taken epoxidation of double bond takes place. Next is the dehydrogenation. On dehydrogenation with sulfur, selenium, platinum or palladium, terpenoids are converted into aromatic compounds as for example alpha terpeniol. On selenium dehydrogenation yields parasimine which gives the skeleton structure and position of side chain in the terpenoids. Next is the oxidative degradation. It is, has been the parallel tool for elucidating the structure of terpenoids. Reagents are ozone, acid, neutral or alkaline, potassium permanganate, chromic acid, sodium hypochromite, osmium tetraoxide, nitric acid, lead tetraacetate and peroxy acids. Since oxidizing agents are selective depending on the particular group to be oxidized, the oxidizing agent is chosen with the help of structure of degradation products. Relation between the general formula of the compound and type of compounds as for example limonyl absorbs two molecules of hydrogen to give tetrahydrolimonene. Its formula is C10H20 corresponding to the general formula CNH2N. It means that limonene has a monocyclic structure. In this way, we can also determine the structures of acyclic, monocyclic, bicyclic, tricyclic and tetracyclic compounds. Last are the spectroscopic studies which is the latest technique in which we involve UV spectroscopy which gives the position of conjugated diens or alpha beta unsaturated ketones. IR spectroscopy dealing with detecting the functional group present in the molecule and NMR mass and X-ray analysis is also used to determine the structure of terpenoids. Next we come to a very important compound or terpenoid citral which is the lemongrass. It is uh, the most important member of acyclic monoterpenoid. Its chemical formula is C10S16, boiling point 77 degrees centigrade. It is found to have two double bonds, which can be repelled by the addition of it adds on two molecules of bromine given tet uh, tetrabromo product and two moles of hydrogen giving yielding C20H20 oxygen. That means two double bonds are present in the molecule. It contains 10 carbon atoms which means two isoprene units are joined in the molecule and an aldehyde 
group is present in septal now let us determine the structure of septal first is the formation of oxim septal reacts with hydroxyl amine yielding an oxim here the spelling is mistake o x i m e indicating the presence of an oxo group in septal septal when heated with potassium hydrogen sulfate it yields para cyamine which gives the skeletal structure of citrum on reduction with sodium and alcohol it gives alcohol known as diraleon in this aldehyde group is converted into alcoholic group citrum forms both mono and di sulfides by the addition of sodium bisulfide to reveal the presence of conjugated aldehyde group present in citrum citral on reduction with sodium amalgam it gives an alcohol geraniol citral on oxidation with alkaline kmno4 yields acetone oxalic acid and lavulinic acid here you can see the how the oxidation takes place first of all it reacts with potassium permanganate where when hydroxylation takes place and then chromic acid oxidation here the bonding the cleavage takes place from here and here yielding acetone and oxalic acid plus lavulinic acid citral on oxidation with silver oxide forms geranic acid suggesting that citral has an aldehyde group present so aldehyde group converts into carboxylic group based on the above data data and coupled with biogenic considerations citral is formed by the joining of two isoprene units in the head to tail fashion structure of citral was assigned tentative the structure was further supported by the degradation of citral which on treatment with aqueous potassium carbonate it forms acid aldehyde and 6 methyl heptene 5 in 2 on the structure of citral is finally confirmed by its synthesis which was given by barbier and buvelt it converted methyl heptene on into geranic ester by using refermitsi reaction After this steamen converted geranic ester into citral by distilling a mixture of by distilling a mixture of calcium salts of geranic and formic acids thank you